and make a very precise movement here, especially if you are a beginner. Really focus on the breath and use the breath to control the movement. Lift your hips up. So now try to bring your whole feet down to the mat, but if you cannot do that, just try to step a little bit forward. Or you can just keep it there, but soften your knees and lift your heels up. It really depends on you and listen to your body. Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena and welcome to day 9 of the 10 days of love Pilates challenge. Today we are going to do a dreamy total body Pilates workout and it will include all the beautiful dreamy movement. So if you're ready, just draw your mat and let's begin. Alright, then let's start by allowing yourself to lengthen your spine and I want you to open your arm to the side Now soften your elbows and slowly rotate the torso to one side Reach your hands towards the front and then come back to your opposite side Reach and then bring it back You can always bend your knees and open your legs if it's easier for you So keep breathing, come back You're going to do it 5 more times, you get your own breath Exhale when you reach, inhale, bring it back and fall Bring it back to the center, to the other side. Three, keep breathing, belly button in, go a little bit further and just gentle and smooth like we're dancing here. So keep breathing, two, come back to the other side and back to the center. Last one, pull the belly button in slightly to support your lower back and slowly back to the center. Rotate the shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and start to rotate your head around your neck and then reverse and now allow yourself to bring your arm to the side shoulders down and lean on one side rotate the torso to the front and then come back to the other side here and exhale you know bring it back we're going to do it five more times with your own breath back to the center to the other side keep breathing here with your own breath Four belly button in to your opposite side three keep breathing try to rotate all the range of movement of your shoulders here and then come back and last one to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center now rotate the wrist here and then reverse inhale deep into your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and now Darcy flex with your wrist here so flex and then bring your toes up to the ceiling I want you to inhale and lift your arms up and then slowly rotate the torso to your left to your right and back to the center bring it down you're gonna do it three more times with your own breath so lift it up rotate to the other side and then bring it down two and then come back and the last one and back to the center and slowly bring it down rotate the shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth put your hand on opposite knee open your torso to the back hold it here for three two and one to the other side deep inhale and exhale and back to the center articulate your spine Hold it here for three, two, and one. Rise right, your spine, chin to chest. Pull the belly button in and slowly back to the center. Now, I wanted to allow yourself to bring your arm to the side again, soften your elbows. Now, rise right, your spine to the front and then come back. Now, feel free to just lengthen your leg and sit along the mat if it's more, if you feel like it's more comfortable for you here. So, exhale, reach and inhale, open and reach and open we're going to do it 10 times with your own breath keep breathing 9 pull the belly button in 8 7 keep breathing 6 engage your core as much as possible 5 slowly with your own breath and 4 belly button in reach a little bit further and then come back 3 2 really engage your core use your core to roll your torso back and listen to your body here last one and slowly bring your hand down rotate your shoulders 
imaginary words again. Now I want you to allow yourself to bend your knees here, open your arms to the side and rotate the torso to one side, flex forward to your opposite thighs and go a little bit further and then come back to the other side, reach and back to the center. If you want more challenge, just lengthen your legs here. So keep breathing, pull the belly button in, reach up a little bit further and then come back. So five more times with your own breath. Exhale, reach, inhale, bring it back to the other side and then come back and four to the other side. Three more times, say inhale and exhale, come back to your opposite side and three, keep breathing. Two. Now last one, exhale to your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center, rotate your shoulders and then reverse, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs, dorsiflex flex with your feet and open your legs here with the part. Now this time, I want you to bring your hands to the front and bend your elbows, so keep your elbows at 90 degrees here. Now, Lengthen your wrist, inhale and lift and reach the front. Lengthen your spine, shoulders down, chest open and then come back, gonna do it 10 times here. So even only your arms moving but your core is working at the same time. Your back muscles, your abs, your inner thighs squeezing, contract your pelvic floor muscles and pull the belly button all the way in. Gonna do it six, keep breathing, five, four, belly button all the way in, three, two and last one and slowly bring it back rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose shake your hips a little bit and exhale deeply to your mouth shake your ankles a little bit here too now i wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your spine and then hand behind your head now i wanted to slowly rise your spine come to the front and then lengthen it reach and then bring it back and open your elbows 10 times with your own breath so keep breathing exhale reach inhale bring it back open and then come back lengthen and then bring it back and open so really engage your core try to reach a little bit more but also pull the belly button in squeeze your thighs and press your sitting bones down listen to your body don't have to go so far just really listen but then feel like you're dancing here keep breathing exhale reach Inhale, bring it back and open. And five, four, don't hold your breath. Inhale and exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. So you can soften your knees when you reach forward. Three, keep breathing. Beautiful. Two, exhale, reach and come back. And last one, reach and slowly bring it down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. All right, now you want to allow yourself to bend your knees here, keep your feet together. So just choose the position of your feet that you feel like you feel comfortable with your hips and your back can lengthening here. Now you want to allow yourself to put your hands on your thighs and then open your elbows wider here. Flex forward, engage your core and feel your hips are stretching and make a little pause here. But really listen to your body and five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly lengthen your spine again. Now, bring your hand, one hand all the way up to the ceiling, and then one hand behind your head here. Now inhale and flex forward or to one side, open your opposite elbow to the back, and then bring it back. We're gonna do it five times each side here. So exhale, flex forward, and inhale, come back. And feel free to bend your knees, keep your legs parallel to each other if it's easier for you. Straighten your wrist, and keep breathing, don't overextend your wrist. So keep breathing here with your own breath. Pull the belly button in, and three, two, go a little bit further, and then come back, look down to the mat. Two, and last one. And slowly bring it back to the other side. Lengthen again, and then reach, and then bring it back, and reach, and up. And three more times here with your own breath. Pull the belly button all the way in, two, exhale every time you reach, and last one, 
and then slowly bring it back. Shoulders are rotated, the shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now hands behind your hips, lean backward. Press your feet down and legs parallel, open your chest, engage your core here. Now I want you to inhale and roll your spine chin to chest, pull the belly button in and then open chest open look towards the front and then roll your spine again we're gonna do it six more times with your own breath so keep breathing open and five engage your core here four squeeze in the thighs try to lengthen and chest push up to the front come back three really engage your core by pulling the belly button towards the spine and squeeze in the thighs contract your pelvic floor muscles and last one open and then slowly bring it back now I want you to engage your core and really try to bring the belly the lower belly all the way to inside towards the inside and towards the back now inhale and I wanted to shoulders down chest open and bring your hand to the side so your upper arm stick to your body now lengthen and then bring it back like we moving your arms slowly and gentle and keep breathing gonna do it 10 times here with your own breath belly button in lengthen your legs if it's easier for you or if you want to make it feel more comfortable here you can soften your elbows and keep breathing pull the belly button in very good and five four reach a little bit further three two and last one reach and then slowly move your elbows all the way towards the back and then lengthen it again and move towards the back and lengthen we're gonna do it five three still lengthen your spine working your core at the same time two and the last one and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now when you're ready I wanted to allow yourself to come to all four position here so from here I wanted to open your arms shoulders apart and your legs a bit apart now Keep your feet to the center, your knees to the center. Lengthen one leg here. Now inhale and lift your leg as high as you can. Engage your core. So you can see my back is arching here. We're gonna come back and bring your back to the neutral position and pull the belly button in. Lengthen your spine. Now slowly bring your leg down and then lift and down. So still lengthening your back. You can lift your leg as high as you can. Keep breathing. And five, four, three, belly button in two shoulders far away from your ears and last one and to the other side here again then lift up and down and lift and down and four three squeeze in the thighs bring it down slowly with your breath and last one and bend the knees here shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth rotate your ankle and then reverse all right and now I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your opposite leg again plant up flex with your foot lift your leg up and now start to inhale bring your arm your opposite arm to the front here and then bring it back and then lengthen and then bring it back engage your core so stabilize your whole body here only your arm is moving reach and down and reach engage your core as much as possible and I know that it's challenging to keep balance here but I want you to really focus on the breath and focus on the center hips facing down to the mat and three lengthen and then come back two and last one and slowly down to the mat now to your opposite side so lengthen your leg up hips facing down engage your core and now soften your elbows here now lengthen your opposite arm up and down and then lengthen and then bring it back engage your core here as much as possible and seven more times here six five keep breathing activate your foot four three squeeze in the thighs squeeze your body muscle two and last one inhale lengthen and exhale come back shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth open your legs here with the part imagining that you have a tail behind your hips here i want you to wag your tail to one side to your opposite side pull the belly button in and feel your oblique twisting five more times with your own breath and four three slowly and use your shoulders to lead the movement not the neck 
two and the last one and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose tuck your feet here and exhale deeply to your mouth lift your hips up so now try to bring your whole feet down to the mat but if you cannot do that just try to step a little bit forward or you can just keep it there but soften your knees and lift your heels up it really depends on you and listen to your body it's totally up to you now keep breathing shoulders far away from your ears and I want you to inhale start to walk your feet so we like go walking and five four three two and last one slowly lift your heels up and bring your heels down and lift and down so try to lift your heels as high as you can and bring it all the way down to the mat or just halfway is totally fine so keep breathing and four belly button in three pull the belly button all the way towards the spine and last one inhale and exhale slowly bend your knees come to try pose here shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready I want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly now this time I want to use your hands bring your hands in front of your chest and then lengthen your legs open your legs a bit apart now really pull the belly button in, press your hip bones down to the mat. Inhale and lift your leg up and open to the side, bend your knee and then bring it back to the center. Lengthen to the side, bend and back. I'm going to do it a couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. I want you to do it gentle and smooth and make a very precise movement here, especially if you are a beginner. Really focus on the breath and use the breath to control the movement. I'm going to do it five more times with your own breath. Four. Make sure you always pull the belly button towards the spine. I have to keep saying it again and again. But I, I feel like it's really helpful to remind you every single moment. So two more times with your own breath. Now last one. And slowly come back to the other side. So again lift to the side and bend and back. And lengthen to the side bend and back a couple more times with your own breath so keep breathing squeeze your booty muscles try to reach your leg all the way towards the front and four three two very good the last one and slowly back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and rotate your ankles exhale deeply to your mouth all right, and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your chest, next to your chest. Close your elbows to the back and lengthen your neck here. I want you to inhale and press your hands down, your whole torso up, pull the belly button in, your hip bones still stick down to the mat, and then bring it down. Inhale, and exhale, engage your core as much as possible. Squeeze your booty, squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles here. And five, four, Belly button in, three, two, the last one lift and slowly bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I want you to, want you to bend your knees and open your knees wider, stick your toes together here, your feet together, now inhale and rest your head on your hand, put your shoulders far away from your ears, now dust your flex with your feet. I want to inhale and start to try to bring both legs up to the just above the mat. It's totally fine. Now really listen to your body here. If you're a beginner, you can just lift each leg at a time and it's totally fine. Just really listen to your body. Keep breathing. Or if you want more challenge, just lift as high as you can with both legs. But make sure when you do that, your hip bones still stick down to the mat. And back in neutral, belly button in. And six and five four three two and last one and slowly lengthen your legs shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to bend your knees here again now engage your core and start to bring one leg up so this time slowly lengthen and then bend and lengthen on your right foot so 10 times here each side and nine 
keep breathing, eight, activate your feet, seven, squeeze in the thighs and your upper leg always above the mat, three, squeeze your body, two, and the last one, and slowly bring it down to the opposite side, lengthen, come back, inhale, and exhale, and ten, nine, keep breathing, eight, very good, seven, six, and five, shoulders far away from your ears, four, three, very good, two, and the last one, and slowly bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your ankles, and then reverse. Now I want you to allow yourself to put your whole forearms down to the mat again, engage your core, touch your feet here, and then lift your whole body up. Now I want you to inhale and lift one leg up and down, to your opposite side five more times each side here with your own breath lengthen your neck look towards the middle of your fingers and shoulders on top of your elbows here and three to your left two belly button in and last one slowly bring your knees down hips down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I want to allow yourself to come all the way down, back to try pose. Shake your hips, inhale, and exhale. And slowly, when you're ready, come to lean on one side to do psychic series here. So hand, support your head and your opposite hand in front of your chest here. Lengthen your legs, activate your feet. Pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears. Now I wanted to inhale and start to lift your leg just above the mat and then bring it back. I mean just about the hips and then bring it back. And keep breathing 10 times with your own breath. 9. Squeeze your booty muscles. 8. Activate your feet and stabilize your hips. 7. And 6. Keep breathing. 5. 4. Squeeze your booty if you can. 2. And the last one. Now I want you to inhale and slowly bend your knee, slide your heel towards the hip and then lengthen it up, dorsiflex and then bring your leg down like we're doing passe in the ballet. So keep breathing 10 times here with your own breath and 9, pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears, 8, lengthen and bend and come back, 7, 6, very good. And five. And four more times with your own breath. Three. Keep breathing. And two. Now last one. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale slowly. Bring it down. Shake your hips in the last movement in this psychic series. I want you to inhale and slowly bend your top knee and lengthen your bottom one down see flex with your feet lift your leg up your bottom leg up and down and 10 times here with your own breath feel your inner thighs squeezing here nine and eight seven keep breathing six and five contract your pelvic floor muscles squeeze your thighs four three two and last one now go to the other side when you're ready so keep breathing and bend and again just engage your core hip on hip we don't flex forward don't flex backward lean backward just really keep hip on hip here lift it up and bring it down in 10 more times with your own breath nine keep breathing eight seven six and five four shoulders far away from your ears three two now last one now I want you to inhale, bend your knee, slide your heel toward the hip again, passe, dorsiflex, and then bring it back. Make sure when you do that, your hip stabilized and 10 times with your own breath, squeezing the thighs, and nine, keep breathing, eight, slowly with your own breath, seven, belly button in, and six, keep breathing, Contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Five, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, come back. And four, three, squeeze in the thighs, 
contract your pelvic floor muscles and bring your leg down slowly with control really control it by the breath two and the last one reach and slowly bring it down all right now bend your top leg dorsiflex flex with your bottom and start to lift your bottom leg and then down and up and down and nine keep breathing eight seven six squeeze your booty five squeeze your inner thighs four three and two and last one slowly bring it down shake your hips and allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly shake your hips so you know deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and slowly allow yourself to come to sitting position and now I want you to allow yourself to interlace your fingers here put your forearms parallel to the floor push your whole arms to one side so you can really feel your upper arm stretching and your shoulder stretching and then to your opposite side very good keep breathing and now bring it back to the center reach come back and reach and bring it back and three two and last one reach it all the way up stretch your stomach and last one and now open your arms to the side and lean on one side again side bending and back to the center to the other side and back to the center we're going to do it four more times with your own breath keep breathing and three inhale back to the other side two belly button in now last one to your opposite side and slowly back to the center here soften your elbow roll your spine chin to chest and then bring it back and make sure you always pull the belly button towards the spine to protect your lower back in this movement so flex forward and you don't have to go so far really listen to your body come back roll your spine like we're hugging a big tree and then bring it back and two now last one slowly bring it back to the center hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse the hand to the opposite thighs rotate your torso and come back to the other side hold it here for three two and one back to the center rotate your shoulders one more time and then reverse and articulate your spine look to the front cat and core in sitting position so five four three two and one round your spine chin your chest and five four three two and one slowly back to the center now i want to inhale and open your arm to the side try to reach your hands to both sides so it doesn't it seems like we don't move our arms and shoulders but it's actually stretching right now when you try to reach and lengthen your arms here and five four three two and one start to rotate the wrist so five four three two and one reverse three two and one and slowly palms facing up to the ceiling and then down and lift to rotate switch and keep breathing in the five four three two and last one and slowly bring your hands down rotate your shoulders one more time and then reverse all right now close your eyes lengthen your spine inhale deeply to your nose Exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Lengthen your spine and slightly engage your core. I want you to slowly and keep breathing here. Inhale and exhale. Focus on your breath and start to release all the tension on your shoulders, your head, and check from your head to your toes. Release all the tension from your face your arms, your legs, your hips just so slightly engage your core feel your body connecting to the mat and keep breathing and one more deep breath, inhale and exhale and when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and that's the work after today thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoy it and that's for day 9, I'm so glad 
and so excited to see you tomorrow for the last day of the challenge day 10 so see you tomorrow bye